In open play, Barca were building the game in back four. Barca were using Sol Pivot and that was Frankie Dion. In open play, Victoria Pleasant were defending in 4 2 3 1 formation. In open play, Victoria Pleasant were pressing with Sol Man and he was 2 versus 1 down in front of the Barca center backs and he was not able to press well. With Victoria Pleasant front man being central, Barca center backs could easily drive the ball and bypass the front man. When Barca center backs were driving the ball, Victoria Pleasant's wide midfielder was on fullback Roberto and Victoria Pleasant's defensive midfielder was on Cassie. So Barca center back could drive the ball with ease. Winger Ansupati and Lewandowski were holding the back line narrow of Victoria Pleasant. So Indy and Alba was on overlap and Alba had space to cross. In open play, Barca were building the game in traditionally back four. Barca's pullback were providing width by staying wide, and Frankie Jung was operating as a pivot. Barca's pivot was always under pressure from Victoria Plaza's center midfielder, so Barca had no centrally passing option available because of Barca's pivot was being isolated. Barca were using two offensive midfielders, and they were Frank Cassie and Pedri. Victoria Plaza had two defensive midfielders, and they were marking Barca's offensive midfielders. So, in open play, Barca's midfield was isolated. When Barca's offensive midfielder was dropping in, Victoria Pleasant defensive midfielder was ready to track back Barca's offensive midfielder. So Barca's midfield was centrally isolated and Barca were being forced to do back passing. Later in the game, Barca were building the game in back three in open play. Barca's pivot was playing the role of temporary wide by dropping in. Now in open play, Barca had three defenders in the back line. So Barca's pullback Alba and Roberto could push high. With Barca's pullback pushing high, Barca had two extra attackers in the wide zone. So Barca's forwards and midfielders could utilize the center space. In the final third, Dembele was providing width by staying high and wide. While Dembele was receiving the ball, Victoria Pleasant fullback was committing on the Dembele. Due to the drag of Victoria Pleasant fullback, space was being created between centre back and fullback. And Frank Cassie was ready to utilize that space. When Cassie was moving in her space, Victoria Pleasant's midfielder were ready to track back Cassie and fullback Roberto, who was inverted, looked to receive the ball in deep her space and cross. On the other hand, fullback Roberto was inverted fullback. Frank Cassie was tracking the defensive midfielder in half space, so Roberto was easily receiving the ball behind the first line. Now, talking about the role of Frank Cassie, Frank Cassie was operating normally in the right half space. When the ball was on the left hand side, Frank Cassie was always central and high with Robert Lewandowski. With Frank Cassie playing central and high, Frank Cassie was attracting the central defenders, so with Barca having two centrally passing options. Lewandowski could move in the left and right half space. Frank Cassie had two roles to go behind the defense from half space when the winger had the ball and when the ball was on the left hand side staying central with Robert Lewandowski and bluffing Victoria Pleasant's black line. But Barca's second offensive midfielder was not doing this. In the second half, Barca's left winger was playing as a temporary second striker. Barca's winger was attracting the defender of Victoria Plaza by staying central in the final third. Now Barca had two striker and Barca were 2v2 in front of Victoria Plaza's central defenders. Alba's cross came off the flank and winger dragged the defender and set up for the Lewandowski and Lewandowski scored outside of the box. Because the winger movement was dragging Victoria Plaza's center backs and creating space for Lewandowski and that's why Lewandowski was able to score.